హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు అన్ అకాడమీ దిస్ ఈజ్ యువర్ కేపీ సార్ కృష్ణ ప్రకాష్ సో వీఆర్ కంటిన్యూయింగ్ ద సెషన్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ఆబ్జెక్టివ్స్ ఫర్ ఎన్వైరన్మెంటల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ విచ్ ఇంక్లూడ్ గేట్ వన్ మార్క్ ఈఎస్సి టిఎస్పిఎస్సి బిపిఎస్సి వాట్ ఎవర్ స్టేట్ ఏఈ డబల్ ఎస్ఎస్సి జేఈ సో వీఆర్ కంటిన్యూయింగ్ ద సెషన్స్ so follow me on an academy platform use the barcode qr code and if you want to join an academy and take plus subscription use my code kp civil so an academy conducts online mock test all india mock test for gate 2023 which gives you the experience like a real time gate examination because practice is very important for a gate examination that practice provided by our all india mock test so enroll yourself using my code kp civil and enhance your learning experience with an academy so those who want to take an academy test series an academy light just it is a 499 rupees so it will help you to boost and enhance your preparation analyze your skills and to know where you stands in the total gate and esc preparation so an academy light 499 rupees and also you can get a 10% discount after using the code kp civil <laughs> so we completed the fil- uh, topics like sedimentation coagulation filtration then now disinfection the last method of water treatment after filtration disinfection chlorine demand of water sample was found to be 0.2 mg per liter chlorine demand amount of bleaching powder containing 30% available chlorine to be added to 1 liter of such a water sample no information regarding residual chlorine so that directly take demand as dosage bleaching powder quantity is equal to discharge into chlorine dosage into 100 upon percentage of chlorine this is the formula you know it we have solved in so many questions in our plus class and free classes the amount of bleaching powder is equal to discharge to be treated to treat to treat how much quantity 1 liter and then chlorine dosage 0.2 mg per liter 100 upon 30 so what you are going to get 0.67 milligram 0.67 milligram 0.67 milligram <coughs> option a most commonly used disinfectant for water throughout the world universal disinfectant we know the universal disinfectant is chlorine because chlorine is most economical highly efficient and shows a residual action residual action will prevent future contamination a city supply 15000 cubic meters of water per day dosage 0.5 ppm requirement of 25% bleaching powder bleaching powder is equal to discharge 15000 into 1000 liter per day discharge 0.5 milligram per liter so you are getting milligram per day 
into 10 raised to minus 6 milligram to kg conversion and you need bleaching powder 100 upon 25 so you can get amount of bleaching powder 15 into 0 0.25 upon 0.25 that is a 30 kg 30 kg per day is the amount of bleaching powder <coughs> process of applying chlorine to the water before filtration or rather before sedimentation or coagulation is called as generally chlorination is the last method of treatment that is called post chlorination but you are saying before filtration process of applying chlorination before filtration or sedimentation coagulation that is pre chlorination process of applying chlorination after filtration post chlorination if you are doing no other treatment carried out only chlorination is carried out no filtration no sedimentation no coagulation only chlorination that is a plain chlorination plain super chlorination will study under two condition one is super chlorination carried out beyond break point addition of excess chlorine beyond break point during floods epidemics excess chlorine dosage that is also superchlorination under two conditions we can use the word superchlorination additional chlorination carried out beyond break point after 20 minutes beyond break point or else extra additional chlorine excess very high dose of chlorine during epidemics or flood occurrence superchlorination or though toledin test used to find out free residual chlorine combined residual chlorine what are free residual chlorine free residual chlorine HOCl and OCl minus combined residual chlorine is chloramines Orthotolidin test is used to find both. Orthotolidin test is used to find out both. So, residual chlorine, it may be free, it may be combined. Estimated by starch evade test, orthotolidin test. If it is only free chlorine residual, if you want to find out only free residual chlorine, then you can go for OTA, Orthotolidin Arsenate test, OTA test. Only free residual chlorine want to estimate, Orthotolidin Arsenate test. <laughs> Which of the following is not a dechlorinating agent? Sulfur dioxide gas, nitrogen dioxide gas is not. Sulfur dioxide, activated carbon, sodium thiosulfate. All three are dechlorinating. What is dechlorinating? Agents used for removal of chlorine. Agents used for removal of chlorine. Efficiency of disinfection by chlorine in water treatment increases by. Decrease in time of contact. No, time of contact and efficiency are directly proportional. More time of contact, more efficiency. Decrease in temperature, no, because temperature and efficiency are directly proportional. So, increase in temperature. <coughs> there is no relation with pre-chlorination. So, efficiency of disinfection, temperature increases rate of reaction increases 
so chemical reaction it is a chemical reaction of water and disinfection chemical reaction between chlorine and water formation of hocl ocl minus then their contact with the bacteria pathogenic organism everything is under a chemical process rate of reaction increases with increase of temperature see <laughs> orthotolid test is used to determine i told you already residual chlorine disinfection of water results in killing pathogenic bacteria the most dangerous harmful disease causing bacteria will be killed through disinfection <laughs> in chlorination due to rise of temperature depth rate of bacteria chlorination efficiency directly proportional to temperature chlorination efficiency directly proportional temperature death rate of bacteria increases then efficiency increases means more number of bacteria will be killed chlorine is most efficient disinfectant chlorine is most efficient disinfectant <coughs> pathogens can be killed by are this much easy question pathogens can be killed by chlorination orthotolidin test indicates residual chlorine when color of the sample after the test is color of the sample after the test is yellow color after the test please understand when color of the sample after the test is yellow color it indicates presence of residual chlorine if color is yellow color water can be dechlorinated by adding dechlorination sodium thiosulfate no doubt sodium thiosulfate very important for us in chlorination chlorine is most efficient sterilizer sterilizer is the chemical or the agent which can remove 100% of bacteria 100% of virus 100% of microbe so it may be harmful it may be beneficial it may be dangerous it may not be dangerous irrespective of it total zero microbial condition is caused sterilizer but chlorine is a disinfectant it kill only pathogenic na it won't kill harmless chlorine is a disinfectant only it's not a sterilizer sterilization is the process carried through autoclaving zero microbial condition is achieved chlorination does not achieve zero microbial condition but pathogens are removed through chlorination quantity of chlorine added in superchlorination is beyond break point beyond break point yes true two only because beyond break point whatever you have added that is superchlorination following is not a method of disinfection filtration is not a method of disinfection boiling uv treatment chlorination is a disinfection disinfection of water involves all this boiling ultraviolet light chlorination filtration is not a method of disinfection chlorine can be applied in water as either bleaching powder or chloramines you can use you can use chlorine gas also you can use chlorine dioxide also you can use liquid chlorine total five forms bleaching powder chloramine liquid chlorine chlorine dioxide chlorine gas chlorine demand of water sample is found to be 0.2 amount of bleaching powder containing 30% available chlorine to be added to treat 1 liter of such water sample bleaching powder is equal to 
वन लीटर जीरो पॉइंट टू हंड्रेड बै थर्टी सो इट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू बै जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स एम जी वन क्वेश्चन विच विल बी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू अमाउंट ऑफ ब्लीचिंग पाउडर रिक्वायर्ड यू हैव ओनली न्यूमेरिकल फ्रॉम टोटल वाटर ट्रीटमेंट दैट वन केमिकल एम्प्लॉयड फॉर डी क्लोरिनेशन सोडियम सल्फाइड सोडियम बाइकार्बोनेट कैल्शियम बाइकार्बोनेट हाइड्रोजन पर ऑक्साइड सोडियम सल्फाइट द ओनली केमिकल नाउ एज पर ऑप्शन सो मेनी केमिकल्स आर देर एज पर ऑप्शन दट इज प्रिफर्ड Chlorides from water removed by chlorides from water removed by reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis. Swimming pool water requires swimming pool dual super pre d swimming pool always excess chlorine to be added. Excess dosage of chlorine required. So that swimming pool water always require excess dosage super chlorination. disinfection of drinking water involves removal of whenever you talk disinfection dis is removal infection disease causing microbe disease causing microbe is bacteria chemical generally used to control algae copper sulfate na copper sulfate alum during coagulation we use for colloids bleaching powder during disinfection we use for bacteria so algae is removed by copper sulfate when chlorine is added beyond the break point the process of treating water so whenever you find the word beyond break point please make it underline put star mark very very important so many times this is asked put star marks that is super chlorination disinfection efficiency of chlorine in water treatment so with respect to ph ph of water increases concentration of ho cl decreases efficiency directly proportional to hocl so now what is the relation between efficiency and ph efficiency decreases with ph of water so disinfection efficiency reduced by increased ph value super chlorination is done during an epidemic whenever disease is spreading more disease is spreading a disease water borne disease is spreading that is called epidemic chlorine residue to be maintained in disinfection of a new water distribution system new water distribution system needs a huge amount of chlorine residue so will go with 2 mg per liter generally will take 0.2 mg per liter but a new distribution system it needs more amount of chlorine residue that is why 2 mg per liter so guys let's crack it always i am with you so join my telegram channel kp sar students and let invite your friends to join kp sar telegram channel and make your journey towards gate and esc more successful your kps are always with you to make your dreams to fulfill so follow me in an academy let your friends juniors whoever want to join take an academy subscription using our universal code kpsivil let's crack it guys